Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make Mexican rice using the technique I learned in culinary school. So after this video, you will be a pro at making this super easy and delicious recipe. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need two cups of long green rice, three Roma tomatoes, one fourth of an onion, one garlic clove, one fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon, two teaspoons of tomato bouillon, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. We're going to begin by making our tomato broth. To a blender cup, we're going to add our tomatoes, just cut them in half, along with our onion, garlic clove, ground cumin, chicken bouillon, tomato bouillon, and a little bit of salt. The salt, you can always adjust it as we cook our rice. With that, we're going to add two cups of water. And now we're going to be blending into smooth. And once we have our tomato broth, now we can make our rice. And for our liquid, we should have four cups of broth. And if you don't have it, just make sure you add a little bit of water. Okay, the secret to our recipe today is going to be using our oven. So we're going to preheat it to 350 degrees. So like this, you don't have to worry about burning it. So now we're just going to grab a pan set it on high heat and to that we're going to add our oil by using our oven we're going to make sure that our rice comes out perfect every single time once our oil is nice and hot we're going to add our rice and we're going to be frying it until it's nice and golden and i also like to add a jalapeno for extra flavor this is all optional Okay, so after five minutes, our rice should be nice and golden. So now we're going to get ready to add our broth. So just mix it. And just allow it to come to a simmer. Okay, so within seconds, it should have come to a simmer. So at this point, taste it for salt and see if you wanna adjust it. For me, it's perfect. So now I'm just going to be adding a little handful of cilantro for extra flavor. We're going to cover it, turn off our stove, and transfer it to our oven. Okay, so now we're going to bake it for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, our rice should be done. So we're going to remove it from the oven. I'm going to be removing the cilantro and here we're also going to check the rice and make sure that all of the broth has been absorbed and the rice is nice and dry and fluffy as well. Now we're going to fluff the rice with the fork. This releases steam and prevents further cooking. Now if you still have broth in your rice, you can just stick it back in the oven for another three to five minutes. Now I'm just going to cover it and allow it to sit for five minutes. Guys, and after five minutes, our rice is ready to be served. And look at that, perfect every time. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that if you wanna continue cooking your rice a traditional way, you can do that. But I feel like this recipe and this method is just perfect, you know, if you're just a beginner and you still can't master your rice recipe, this is going to be perfect every single time. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. The rice just comes out so perfect, not mushy at all, which is, the best Mexican rice, so cheers and enjoy. And you know, rice is always the best side dish for all of your favorite recipes, so this is very important. Mm -hmm. And the flavor, the best. Mm -hmm. So good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make a super easy and delicious Mexican rice. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you like this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.